welcome back to another video on this series in applying to medical school in the UK. This video is about the personal statement and choosing your four options for medical school. Let's talk about the personal statement. Medical personal statements require you to do three things. One, show that you know what qualities are required of a doctor. Two, talk about which activities you do that reflect those qualities. And three, is therefore impress upon them why you're right for the course. So you're not simply telling them that you'll make a good doctor, you're showing them all the qualities you have in you that would make you a good doctor. For example, you can say that you developed your ability to work in a team by being part of your school sports team, or that your weekly visits to an old age home helped you discover your passion for interacting with people of different ages and let you build on your communication skills. So this is where the work experience really comes in handy. It's basically a tool for you to show off your personality and show that you possess the traits that doctors should ideally have. Clinical work experience should also be referenced to show that you know what you're getting yourself into. I've spoken more about the types of work experience and why work experience is important in my first video of the series, which you can click right here to see. It's really important to tailor your personal statement according to the universities that you're applying to. There's a really good book that has loads of sample personal statements that have been successful at different universities and tells you where they've been successful. It's called Get Into Medical School, Write the Perfect Personal Statement and it's published by ISC Publications. Trust me, that's not the last time you're going to hear that name in this series. So the next sensible thing to do is to choose universities based on your strengths. You'd be taking into account teaching style, GCSE grades, AS grades and predicted grades, work experience, extracurricular activities, UK CAT score, desire to give the BMAT, that's a lot. So what do you do? Hop onto the internet and do some research about which university would be a good option for you. Of course you'll be looking at other factors like the location of the university, whether it's a campus or a city university, the cost of living in that area, but keep in mind that you only get four choices instead of the usual five. The fifth choice, if you choose to use it, can't be medicine or dentistry. Usually people choose biomedical sciences as their fifth option. Mostly because most courses aren't going to accept a personal statement that talks about how much you actually want to do medicine. It's important to start writing your personal statement well in advance and start thinking about which universities are right for you as you build your profile. You will very likely end up with a completely different personal statement by the end of the process as compared to your first draft. It's also really hard to finish your first draft and really hard to fit everything in 4,000 characters including spaces or 47 lines, whichever comes first. There is a really helpful video on writing your personal statement which is linked below. It's guaranteed to help you. It's kind of long but I promise you it's worth it. Whoa! We've reached the end of the first phase of your application and now it's time to send it off via UCAS. See you on the other side of October and congratulations! Thanks for watching and I hope I could help you get a better understanding of the whole process. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them below and I will try and help you out. Alternatively, you could ask them on the student room, I've heard the people there are pretty friendly. In the next video, I'll talk about the intense interview stage and beyond. Click here to watch the video and good luck!